Louis Junkature, 2016, what makes you want to be part of it? I was there last year. Mm -hmm. And it's so original and so different. Was these young kids from all around the country making amazing outfits out of junk. Amazing, original and different. That's the thing, it's seeing the hard work that these guys put yes. in. I mean, they, they give their heart and soul. Mm. And it's out of junk. So I think we'll probably find a young John Rocha or a young Louise Kennedy or somebody yeah. out of this. Just be different, be original and be yourself. And is there anything that you know in the rubbish pile that you would say, mm, that might make a good dress? Maybe something out of old vinyl or CDs or something. That could be True. different. I don't know, but they yeah. can make it out of anything. And it's meant just nothing about limitations, being creative. Being cre and being different mm. and just being dedicated to it. It's, it's, like the business, it's like the music business, just it's closed. In terms of the X Factor obviously this year, it's not doing as well. It's still a good show though, still yes, a really big course. show. And the talent's good this year, mm. the talent, the, there's some really good singers there. But do you sit there watching it going, hmm? No, that is I don't watch it every week, I just keep my eye on it. Well, I'm, I'm happy that I'm not doing it, if you want to be honest. I talk to Simon all the time and he said, oh we miss you, come on back and all that yeah. type of thing. But there's no role for me, you know, mm -hmm. unless he finds something for me in the live shows. You know, I did meet I'm a Celebrity mm -hmm. and I said no. Why was that? What was it about it that you kind of, was it a reluctance it's to a do jungle. with? It's a jungle. Yeah. X Factor's a jungle too and got a few snakes. I just don't want to do it this year. Yeah. Maybe next year. Are you afraid of snakes? I'm afraid of snakes and I'm afraid of, of creepy crawlies and I like my comforts and I like to sleep in a bed and stuff and I like good food. See, I have a pet snake and I think, I yeah, and no. I, I think if I put Miss Hiss in your hands, I would like get I you. I would die. No, she's only like this size. Where do you keep it? She's like at the foot of my bed. No. <laughs> She's tiny and literally, if you hold them, you fall in love with them. That's what I'm saying. So I think if you so went into the jungle. Strange, are you? <laughs> you're only working that out now. Yeah. How long have you had the snake? We've had Miss Hiss for six months and she is an integral part of our family. Really? Mm. <laughs> Trust me, I could get you to like them. No, I could. No, you're strange. <laughs> in terms of, let's say, Eurovision, uh, would that be something that you would ever want to go Eurovision. back to? I did it in the 80s. Mm. And it was really big, it sold an awful lot of records. Our record in the last three or four years has been so bad mm -hmm. because we send amateurs, amateur songwriters. And that's the thing, singers. if you became involved in that, I was actually on the jury for two years, so yeah. I'm, it kind of, I, okay. love, I love the Eurovision so much. So I did, um, but we need something, for, we need an amazing songwriter to write a song and we need an amazing performer. But you know those people! Of course I do, yeah. but they don't want to go for Eurovision. Is that what it is? Because we've ruined it. Yeah. We've ruined it in the last 10 years by sending amateurs. And do you think there's no way of us clawing that back and... I could do it. I could do it, definitely, because you need yeah. a great song and you need a great performer and you need a brilliant performer. Sweet. The other thing I'm doing is I'm working with Hometown, their album's coming for Christmas. Their new song was written by somebody really big in the pop. Can and I can't tell you yet, but it's going to surprise everybody who wrote their new song. We want to break here first. They're in Vicar Street for two nights now. They did one last time. We might even do three next time. So and it's building. Are you enjoying being back in that side of the music business yeah, on a full-time basis? I love, that's my day job. I love that. I love living in Dublin. La, 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 where I belong. La, la, Myself and now we're coming apart. But